Hello everyone, Minecraft of Vastus here, and today I'm back with another amazing creation. Today, the door, look, it opens it, closes it, it's two by one, it, it, it can fit you, look, and it, it's amazing. It's a door, you could put one in your base, and look, you could, uh, make something around it into your little dirt hut, and, uh, look, you could use it, it's a door, well, from that clip, I guess you could kind of, <laughs> it kind of spoiled it, you could tell that the, that the real thing is actually right here. Um, this nice little door. So this, four times the size of your average door, is a very fast, compact, um, nice piston door that opens in 0 0.1 seconds, a tenth of a second. I'm going to show you it opening and closing quickly. Nice. Nice, snuggly, open and closing. Makes a cool sound. And today I'm going to be showing you how to build this nice thing that you could build in your base. Um, so, let's start out by, so today I'm going to start out by, um, building the piston out frame, where the pistons are going to push the blocks in. So, basically, there's got to be pistons, that way, th that way it pushes blocks in, so that it could make the door, as you can see, we need, I'm an idiot, we need those to be right there, and, as you can see, these are basically the essential frame for the piston. I did that wrong. Um, and we just need to build around a bit like this. And let's do that and that there and that there. Whoop. Okay. And soon we should have the framework for our piston door. It, um... It's nice and snuggly. It's four by two, so it's not too big. It's not too small. It should be a it can fit Enderman. <laughs> that might not be exactly an upside if you're building this in survival or on hard. But there you go. There's the outframe for where the pistons are going to be in the base. As you can see, if we power this, um, let's quickly do that. And if we power this, you can see those both extend. And if we power this, um then these will extend too, if we make that, and then we power um, this, then you will see that these should theoretically extend as well, and if we power this, this will ideally extend also. Um, now you can see that this is essentially the door, <laughs> this is like all, this is like mainly how the door is going to be pushed in and out, but we're not nearly done yet. Now what we have to do is we have to hook all of these levers up to one single lever. The way we're going to do this is by connecting them. Um, so let's do that quickly. There's um, there's many ways that you could connect them. You could kind of freestyle for this part, but um, as you can see, we can um, so that goes. And this can be hooked up. We're going to move that around and over here. Eventually, this lever is going to be moved to around here, but um, so that you could reach it from on top. But let's do this. Move that over here. And there. Um, and as you can see, that should be wired up. And the important, one mainly important thing that you're going to need to know about this is um, that basically this need, this redstone needs to be fitting. Right. That isn't good. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to rewire a bit. And you can sort of freestyle for the whole thing. Um, and there you go. Now you have half of the door fully working and everything. Um, now. What we're going to need to do is we are going to need to um, wire this up to the other pistons. Start right here. And great. So now that's wired up in a fairly good way. I believe that works. Check. Yep. Still works. So now we will need to um, wire this up right to here. So um, let's build that up. that and we're gonna build a nice stone slab staircase um, and then we'll have this go 
good thing right here. Now, that should wire up to there as well. Nope, it doesn't. Now, why? Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> um, so let's see. Now we can rewire around, like, let's see, we could do that. Um, right, why don't we just do that? We could replace that, and there we go. Now, let's build the frame over here. And as you can see, we have a mostly fully functioning door right here. Um, it, um, it mostly works primarily. And as you can see, if you just do that, that will fill in too. You can, um, you could kind of start doing this now and up and around. And essentially, when you power this, you will have three quarters of the door all good. Now, from up here, we can wire this up right to the top and from that rooftop we can go into there now as you can see whenever we open and close the door it will all be done by flicking this lever um there we go open close open close everything the problem is now you have to go all the way down there to flick the lever and that's not exactly what we want also by default it's open so we're gonna need to wire this into a knot gate right here let's do that um that is not what i meant to do and um so we're gonna build over like this um by the way you'll need to keep in mind that same stuff again like you're gonna need to do a lot of rewiring probably need to figure a lot of this out on your own i'm no expert <laughs> but um Basically, um, now that should be fully functioning and everything. Um, and so, let's start by building a thing right here to go into there. And here. Now, if we put a lever on top of that redstone, that only does half the door. Um, um, that only does half the door, so we'll need to fix that. Oh, so a common error that you're going to encounter is, like I said, that. So, just do that. You should have your good door. By default, it will be closed. Then you can open it. Now, like I said, many ways you can build this. You could build this four high. You could build this, well, it's already four high. You could build this five high. You could build this six high. Um, you could build this seven high. It really the sky's the limit literally the sky's the limit the 256 block limit is the limit but um so um i hope that you have enjoyed this video i hope that you have now made a nice entrance to your base and i will see you guys next time be sure to leave a like comment and if you love this then be sure to subscribe and now we have a replicate um of that system I hope you've enjoyed as I march out onto the sand. Adios.